Hi again and welcome to the Days of Hope Capital Music Fest concert series. I'm your host Jeff Mahler. Now Paul Weber five years ago put together seven guys and gals into a band known as Cheza. Cheza is a Swahili word meaning to dance or to play, to play or to dance, which is what this band does on stage. Let's take a peek at them right now on the Days of Hope on Rogers Community TV. <laughs> Wakia, wakia, njaya ni uma Ah, pimi Okay. Next song I'm gonna give is called Asante, which means thank you.
Now, you guys have been together since 1993, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that long. Now, how long you guys been, you've so you've been playing since 1993, or you guys uh, formed in 1993? And when did you start actually playing as a group together? I think the first performance was about a year after. Was it a year after? OK, that was probably about no, maybe six months or something. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the year. It wasn't that long. Yeah. All right. And how did, you, how did you end up uh, finding out about you, each other? Well, how I got um, introduced to the band, uh, Paul and I have a mutual friend, and mm -hmm. she told me that uh, she knows somebody named Paul who's looking for some lead singers in a band he's forming. Right. So that was it. I called up my sister, mm -hmm. and she actually went to a rehearsal ahead of me, came back and said, oh, you'll love it the way they play that guitar. You won't believe they're not African. <laughs> so I said, all right, let me check it out and see if it's true. And I went down, and I have to say I was, I was impressed. You passed the test. I was impressed. So we joined. Yeah. Now, how did now, now how did Paul pass the test? What 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 is uh, it, Paul, about uh, yourself that you'd come under such heavy scrutiny? I don't know if I want to know this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Tell me. <laughs> how did you pass the test? Yeah, what was, what in, was it in my ears? Yeah. Oh dear. Well, I, I liked what I heard straight up. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of African music, particularly Zukus and High Life and, mm -hmm. and Township and, and this sort of thing. So right. I was skeptical, seeing as uh, the man is not quite African. No. So I was a bit skeptical, <laughs> but it, it just sound, it, it closed my eyes and it took me back. I could even right. reminisce with, with what I heard. There's a guy from South Africa by the name of Johnny Clegg. And, uh, in France, they call him Le Zulu Blanc, which means the white Zulu. And uh, this song is about him and all those people that cross over into other cultures for some strange personal reasons of their own.
contradiction. Oh, Are you a no living lie? A future indication. Oh, you live in others' culture. You dance oh, on no dance. Uh -huh. Sing another's melody. Oh, you're no dance. Why do you? Thank you. Muito obrigado. Our next song is called Sokomoko, which is a Swahili word for chaos, and it's about how adversity can actually lead you to uh, creativity.
I spent some time uh, in West Africa when I was young and uh, got exposed to uh, uh, the music there. I remember actually living in this small village. I was doing this cultural exchange and we're right out in the middle of Savannah and one day this guy wandered into town carrying a guitar and uh, I, he sat down in front of me and he started playing this kind of music that I'd never heard before. And my jaw just kind of dropped, you know, and I stood there and I said, how do you play like that? <laughs> and I sat down next to him and I had my guitar and I tried to, you know, figure out what he was doing. And uh, from that time on, I guess, I've been trying to uh, master that sound and learn that sound. So is this something before you had been, uh, you went on to the exchange in Africa when you were a teenager, had you heard, had you been influenced by world music at all before that? Or was this... Well, if you count the Bee Gees as a world yeah. band, right. um, <laughs> no, I don't think there was any world music being played. I mean, how often do you hear uh, anything that's in a foreign language right. on the radio? So maybe La Bamba would be the closest to a world music <laughs> hit. Right. So, okay. So, <laughs> so how did you keep this up after you got back to Canada? I mean, it's not as if Canada, or at least some regions in Canada, are influenced outside of top 40. I mean, that's really hard. Yeah, actually, uh, there were some radio stations that were quite, uh, some of the local radio stations that had African music shows, and I would tape the complete shows. I had friends that were going to Africa all the time and coming back, and they'd bring back music. And there, there was a beginning of people like Sonny King a Day that was becoming available, and I could buy that kind of stuff. And Johnny Clegg and Jaluka from South Africa came along. So there was music available, and I just focused on that.
That's a style called Sukus, by the way. If you're not familiar with it, it comes uh, originally from Zaire, where it's called Rumba. And this one is a, a little bit in that style. It's called Ça c'est ma blonde. Ça c'est en français. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? That's my girlfriend.
ma blonde. Ça c'est, ça c'est 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 ma blonde. very much. That was a tune by Chris Patterson. These are all members of the band that write these tunes. These are all original tunes, original Afropop, straight from Ottawa, through your TV set to you, and for those lucky folks here tonight. This one's called Shaker. It's, it's a wish that you may have someone who comes into your life that shakes it all up for you. Day la 
life feels the same Just passing time in these invisible chains Waiting for some smiling eyes Or a whisper from the sky Or how I hunger for the day And I'm a body before Bring a change, come into my life And I'm a body before You are the sun that melts the ice And I'm a body before My body before, my body before And I'm a body before You are the shaker of my soul She said to me tomorrow You cannot anticipate Riding on a cross down bus Or on the road to Damascus Remember that it's you who hold your fate Let our body go Bring a real change, come into my life Let our body go For you are the sun that melts the light The musical background that you brought into the group with mm. uh, with Paul um, was this something your your family was very musical your mom and dad uh, is this musical family more so my father mm -hmm. and we really did grow up like the Von Trapps we're a family of nine right. Stella's number one I'm mm -hmm. number eight mm -hmm. and uh, we just grew up singing from day one my father would compose stuff he would uh, not only teach us harmony but get us to input we would okay. have to help compose the songs along with him mm -hmm. so that that's our background. And then me more so than my sister, have always had that interest in African music. Right. Her her taste is actually quite different. Her favorite group is Yes. So. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I heard that on stage before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes influence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Um, it's there. It's, it really is there. <laughs> she, she likes uh, she likes difference and surprise. Um, um, but a lot of the songs that she has composed um, in the group, like Pili Pili and Sofomoko that we sang today, mm -hmm. you definitely still hear that after the influence even in your Right. So how, how, how does uh, one go, who does all the writing then? Is it you and Stella that do a lot of the writing for the lyrics, the you music? Know, yes. Not yet? <laughs> At this stage, <laughs> one day, it's mostly Paul, and right. um, there are also songs by Stella, right. Chris Patterson. So, so far, it's, it's basically the three of them at this stage. So the musical, okay, let's rephrase this then. How, is it an ear? Is it different? Is it different from playing Western music as opposed to African music? Or, 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 or what label you want to put onto it? I mean, is there a different style in writing? Or are you listening to the musical notes? Is it, what, what, what's well, different about it? Well, then I can correct me if I'm wrong on this. But, uh, well, part of the problem is when we talk about African music, it's almost a misnomer. There's no such thing as, you know, like one style in Africa. Okay. There's, there's as many styles in Africa, if not more, than there is in North America. It's like okay. saying North American music would be one kind of music. So in the North, you have one kind of style. In the South, in every country mm -hmm. has different styles. Mbakanga, Mbube, Mokosa. You know, there's all these different styles spread out all over the continent. There's a few that influence us more than the others. Okay. In, in particular, there's Sukus. Or, or it's also called rumba, which comes from Zaire, and it's probably one of the dominant styles mm -hmm. in Africa. It's the kind of guitar playing, the fast guitar playing stuff. But maybe you can talk about some of the Tanzanian, South African -y kind of stuff. Maybe I can talk about that? Yeah. Such as what? Exactly. <laughs> well, as like Miri Makeba and that sort of the stuff. The influence in, well, you, you asked about how does it differ to Western. Again, that's. I'm not quite sure how to answer that either. I mean, as far as even how I approach music, I do go by ear. I do go by, by rhythms first, and okay. I don't play an instrument either. So for me, it's that whole vocal approach to mm -hmm. it as well. OK, this one comes from the Cameroon. We're taking one a little trip all over the place. It's by, uh, this is our version of this song, and it's called Afrotypic Collection. Don't say, don't say, yeah. We don't see me 
Our huge thanks going up to Cheza. Thanks very much, guys. Now, on next week's show, the band that throws some humor into the mix, some great vocals, awesome music. You put all that together, throw it at the audience, and we're going to give you a hippie campfire right here next week on the Days of Hope. We'll see you then.